The latest U.S. Census data on income and poverty found the number of San Diego seniors and families with children living in poverty rose by more than 2% in 2014. Here to help us look beyond those numbers are my guests, Brent Wakefield with Serving Seniors and Peter Brownell, Research Director at the Center on Policy Initiatives. And Peter, who are these 200,000 people living uh, at the poverty level here in San Diego? Yeah, well, our report that we've released today breaks it down in a number of ways. But um, so a lot of them are, as you mentioned, families with children. 20% um, of children or one in every five children in the city is living below the federal poverty level. And then the other interesting thing, I think, is that um, you know a lot of the folks below the poverty level, in fact, 41.5% of them are in fact working. So um, the, you know, the problem is really not a lack of jobs, but um, a lack of jobs that pay enough to bring people above the poverty level. And remind us what the poverty level is. Absolutely, so it's, it's actually adjusted for different uh, family types. So for a single individual that's not supporting any children, it's a little over $12,000 a year. Uh, for a family of two adults and two children, it's a little over $24,000 a year. And it, it's, you know, it, it's adjusted for all s different family sizes. But. And in between 2013 and 2014, the numbers of families with children, as we said, and seniors, uh, the, those numbers actually increased by 2%. Uh, I'll start with you, Peter. Do you have any idea on what's behind this increase? Um, you know, I mean, a couple of things for the seniors. I mean, we're starting to, we, we've sort of lost over time uh, defined benefit retirement plans, um, seniors have had to rely more on 401ks and on their own savings, and then we also had the recession, uh, which people lost uh, you know, some of their retirement savings. Uh, and so, I mean, those could be some of the factors. Um, with the children, it's, it's hard to say, um, but things you know, obviously are very difficult for folks uh, and for families with children. Yeah, now Brent, uh, do you yeah. have an idea as far as when we're looking at seniors as far as what may? Uh, yeah, about 65% of the seniors that come into us and 95% and of the, our senior group is below the federal poverty level actually. 65% of, uh, of them identify housing as their number one issue. Uh, so they're spending uh, about 70 to 80% of all of their money that they get each month on rent. Uh, and, and that's really what's driving them into poverty right now. Sure, now CPI crunched the census number and found that 11.4% or more than 47,000 seniors, that's how many people we're talking about here, lived in poverty in San Diego uh, last year. Right. Why are seniors so vulnerable? Well, they're vulnerable because the, the income is now fixed. Um, a lot of these people maybe don't have family that can help them. I think a lot of us, I mean, if I look at my own mother, she's making these amounts of money, but I help her out. So if we talk about it using family terms, it might become a little bit uncomfortable, but we look around us. We don't even have to look at statistics and look at the people and the faces that we know and that we care for, and they're not making enough money to get by. So what's happening is they're giving a lot to rent, and then they have all these other unexpected things that happen that leave them really on the precipice of homelessness. Now, you help seniors. Um, how, basically, what do you do to help them, and what sort of uh, opportunities are available to help them here in San Diego? Right. Well, we provide 2,300 meals a day. Um, so we have congregate dining sites, 10 of them, all over San Diego. Uh, but we also do uh, four to 500 home delivered meal clients every day as well. And then we have wraparound services. And this is kind of where you get to really help them. They come in for food, but you can help them with supportive housing. We have social workers and people that help them with their entitlements. Um, sometimes they don't know how much they're entitled to or the homeless people aren't in fact collecting the money that they're entitled to. Um, so we stabilize them. We also have social workers and nurse case managers that help them navigate the healthcare system. Um, the objective here is to keep them at home and independent as long as possible. Um, and then now we're actually developing, thanks to Gary and Mary West in our Senior Wellness Center, uh, a dental clinic, um, because we know that that's not something that's covered, or Dental Cal only pays about three per, or 30 percent of what insurance pays. And so dental is a huge thing. They can actually chew their food and swallow it. So um, that basic as it may sound, that's one of the things that we have to address with these seniors. So some help there. And in the short time we have left, Peter, what are some of the other things that need to be done here in San Diego to help seniors? Um, well, I mean, I think, you know, as we mentioned, family support and children, I mean, um, you know, so I think making sure that families across the board have the income that's adequate for them and can support, you know, both their children and their, their parents, their aging parents, if need be. Um, so look at the, the family way of it. We are out of time. Peter Brownell and Brent Wakefield, thank you so much. Thank you, Peggy.